Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. In today's video, I'll demonstrate how to use the filter in a workflow. The filter acts as an if function, allowing you to verify a condition before advancing in your workflow. Let's dive in. First, understanding the filter. The filter is an essential tool that ensures that your workflow only progresses if a specific condition is satisfied. One thing that's important to remember is that if the condition is met, the workflow continues. If not, the execution of the workflow is finalized there. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will show you an example workflow. In this example workflow, I'm first exporting some profiles from LinkedIn. Then I am scraping the information from those profiles. Now I want to add a filter. For example, I want that filter to only select the people whose name contains something. What I do is I would press the plus button to add my next node. I navigate to operation and I select filter. I double click on my filter to set it up. And here I can add one or more than one condition. So in this case, I will keep it simple and I will just add only one condition. I can choose the variable that is going to be picked up again from my previous node or my previous automation, which is LinkedIn. So in this case, I want the first name of that person. That is my variable. My rule is going to be depending on the variable that I select. So in this case, I want it to contain and under value, I can choose the text or the word or the number that I want it to contain. In this case, I will put, for example, Joseph. So with the condition set up this way, this filter is going to filter all of the people whose name, whose first name contains Joseph. And only then my workflow will continue its execution. If their name does not contain Joseph, then the automation will stop there. So I have already added that condition and let's say I will add another step, for example, auto message. And that's, that means that if somebody's name is Joseph, they will receive this auto message that I configure here. If their name is not Joseph or does not contain Joseph, then the workflow execution will stop there. Employing the filter will streamline your workflows by ensuring that only the profiles that meet your criteria will advance to the subsequent steps. The targeted approach saves time and resources by concentrating efforts only on the relevant profiles. So that could really increase your productivity. So that's it. Integrating filter into your Texo workflows enables you to craft more focused and effective automations. Try it out and see how it refines your workflow processes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.